Hi, ho there, neighbors. Hope everyone's well and life is treating you well. Uh, doing a quick update today. I've uh, been, you know, uh, dealing with some sleep issues. So that has killed a lot of my productivity, but I've been trying. I uh, actually got some writing done on a project for White Star that I've been working on. Uh, and uh, probably will have something that I can actually show people soon on that. So that'll be good. Um, the uh, uh, the other thing I've been working on, of course, is I'm, I'm working my way through the Daruk and uh, the next uh, uh, of the Gazetteers. And uh, this one is... Uh, it's an interesting one. I'm looking forward to actually doing a breakdown on it. Uh, I've been, of course, reading, uh, as I am always reading something. Uh, lately, I've been reading a book called Shipbreaker by Paolo Bacchalujal. I can't say his name. Bacchalupi, something like that. Uh, it'll be in the there somewhere. I'll put it up, uh, honest. Uh, anyways, uh, he, he tells a very depressing future, um, but it's an exciting tale set in a depressing future. He also wrote um, uh, the uh, the Wind Up Girl, which is in the same future. It's a post peak oil ecological disaster kind of world, uh, and the society is strangely regressed I guess to maybe late 18th century early 19th century level uh, in, in the way the society is structured because um, scarcity is more of a thing um, there's you know there's some petroleum floating around but not a lot uh, there's, um, you know, the, the ma major shipping, uh, concerns use, uh, sailing ships instead of, uh, diesel driven ones, which, uh, pretty much limits how much you can carry. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, uh, a lot of cities have flooded. It's, it's, it's an interesting, uh, sort of semi-post-apocalyptic setting. I kind of actually think it would make a good game. Um, the game world, it it, it 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 sort of combines that sort of Age of Pirates level thing with, you know, them still having, uh, you know, some advanced tech, it's just harder to support the advanced tech because a lot of the places that manufacture it just don't exist anymore. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, genetic engineering, so you end up with, like, genetic super soldiers and uh, you know, odd little creatures in the world. Uh, there's a creature in the wind-up girl that is called a Cheshire, and it is a cat that has been given the chameleon-like ability to blend with the background, um, because that's a good idea. No, that's a terrible idea. Um, and, uh, you know, just that level of genetic engineering is available, so you end up with some really odd creations wandering around in the world. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it'd make it a, a good game setting. I think somebody could do a good game setting out of it. I don't know if uh, the writer would be open to letting people do that, so it would probably just end up being a homebrew if, if anybody ever did something, but it'd be interesting. I've, uh, uh, let's see, beyond that, how much to report? Um, like I said, I'm, I'm working on the, the next, uh, Guess It Here review, and, uh, I think I will go through some, this week and do a, an episode of Kickstarters, i like, that I think are awesome and I can't support because I don't have money, but I want to tell people about them. I may do that again. I've done that in the past. So I'll do it again, I think. Anyway, uh, this has just been my check-in episode. Uh, 
hi guys, I'm still here, I'm alive, I'm not dead. Really, honestly, not dead. Sort of. Um, yeah. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.